Hello Grade 12s, welcome, welcome to today's lesson. So today we're going to be looking at uh, paper 2 from last year's final paper, November 2023 final paper for National Senior Certificate. And we're going to be looking at question 3 in particular and this is how it goes. So question 3.1 says, Andrew and Duncan went fishing for carp on a friend's farm. Note. Carp is a large freshwater fish that can be eaten by humans. So we're going to start with the first question, question 3.1.1, which says a female carp can lay 2.7 million eggs. Write 2.7 million in full using numerals only. So this is simple. All we had to do is just to write the number that's been given to us in numerals as a number. So it's 2.7 million, meaning that it's 2,700,000. So we're just going to write 2,700,000. So that is our answer and we leave it there. We're not going to dwell too much on this. We're only going to focus on the ones with the higher marks and the more complex questions. So now, without uh, any waste of time, going to the next question, it says, Andrew caught a carp with a mass of 2.375 kilograms. Duncan caught two carp, one weighing 1.2 kilograms and the other 750 grams. Determine in kilograms the total mass of the carp they caught. So they tell us here that Andrew caught one fish and then Duncan caught two fishes, right? So what we have to do is that we have to add the weight or the total mass of these fishes together into one number. So what we're going to do here, so uh, as it's obvious we can see that we have kilograms and then we also have a gram so it obviously means that we're going to have to convert somewhere so here we're just going to say um 3.1.2 we're going to add the kilograms together which is 2,375 kilograms and add it together with the other kilogram which is 1.2 kilograms we're going to add them together and it gives us a total of 3,575 kilograms. But this is not our final answer. We still need to add the other fish that weighs 750 grams. So we're going to do it. We're going to convert the grams to kilograms. So we're just going to say uh, this is the, the sum of these fish. And then we're just going to say plus in brackets convert the 750 grams to kilograms okay because our answer should be in kilograms so now we're going to say um 750 grams we convert it to kilograms so what do we do when we convert from grams to kilograms we're going to go back to that method that i showed you guys in the previous video that when we convert we say king henry of denmark makes delicious cakes in a minute we're converting from grams to kilograms it's a difference of 1000 and since we're going from here to here we're going in that direction we are going to divide so we're going to say 750 grams divided by 1000 right so here it's going to be 3.575 kg plus now we're going to calculate this and say 750 divided by 1000 and it gives us a total of 0.75 kilograms so now we have all our masses in kilograms so now we can add them together and get our final answer so we're going to say 3.75 i mean uh, 3.575 plus 0 0.75 and our final answer is 4.325 kilograms we can take it to two decimal places and make it 4.33 kilograms and that is our final answer so now we go to 3.2 so 3.2 says andrew wants to erect a fabricate wall on the boundary of his property the wall will consist of concrete posts with pre-cast concrete slabs between them the wall will have 12 posts planted into the ground using concrete on top of each post, he will place a post cap. For each post, Andrew digs a square hole in the ground 
with a side length of 30 centimeters and a depth of 60 centimeters. And then there we also have a picture of the, the bracade, uh, fabricate wall that he has to build or that he wants to build. They show us there what is the post cap, what, it, what is a precast concrete slab and also what is a post. So now we have an idea of the wall that he's going to build and we know what it's gonna look like. So the first question says, question 3.2.1 that says, Calculate in cubic meters the total capacity of all the holes dug for the required post. You may use the formula. So we've been given the formula to calculate a volume there, and they want us to calculate the total um, the total capacity of all the holes that Andrew has to dig up for his post. So I mean for his post, so he can build this wall that he wants to build. So uh, one thing that you should notice there is that we've been given our dimensions in centimeters, but our answer is required to be in cubic meters. So to avoid the confusion of not knowing how to convert from cubic centimeters to cubic meters, we're just going to convert the dimensions that we have before we could start with the calculations. So we're going to take our 30 centimeters and our 60 centimeters, which is our length and our depth, and convert them to meters so we can work with meters so our answer will be in cubic meters and we won't have to convert anything so we're going to start at say okay it's question 3.2.1 so we're going to start with uh, the 30 centimeters which is our length we we are converting it to meters so when we go from centimeters to meters it's 100 right so we're going from here to there so we are going to divide by 100 so 30 divided by 100, that gives us uh, 0.3 meters. Our length is in meters now. We're also going to do it, convert our depth as well. So we're going to say our depth, uh, which is 60 centimeters, and also divided by 100. And then the answer here is obviously going to be 0 0.6 meters. So now we have all our dimensions in meters our answer should be in cubic meters. So we're good to go and start to use the formula that has been given to us, which is the formula to calculate the volume, which says volume equals to length multiplied by width multiplied by depth. All we have to do now is just to substitute and get our answer. So we're going to start and say the length of our hole We've been told that the length, the side length is 30 centimeters, but we have converted it to meters. So we're going to take 0.3 meters as our length, and then the length is equal to the width because it's a square hole. So the width is also going to be 0.3 meters multiplied by the depth that we've converted to meters as well as 0.6 meters. So now we're going to click our thing in the calculator and say, 0.3 multiplied by 0.3 multiplied by 0.6 and it gives us a total of 0 0.054 cubic meters. So this is the volume for one hole and remember that we've been told that he's going to dig up 12 square holes. This is the volume for only one hole, the capacity for one hole. So we're just going to say uh, the capacity of one hole multiplied by the number of holes that he has to dig up, which is 12 holes, and then that is going to give us our final answer. 0 0.054 multiplied by 12, that gives us a total of 0 0.648 cubic meters. We can take it to two decimal places and say it's 0 0.65 cubic meters. And this is our final answer. This is the total capacity of the 12 holes that Andrew has to dig up for his, um, for his post so he can build this hole, this wall that he wants to build. So moving on to the next question, question 3.2.2. They ask, um, they say, Andrew mixed the same volume of concrete as the volume calculated in question 3.2.1. This volume of concrete he mixed this amount of volume. So he continues to say, give an explanation why he had some concrete left after planting all the posts in the holes with concrete. So this one doesn't require any calculations, it just wants you to use your logic and then answer the question. So here we can say that there was um, an amount of concrete that was left, even though he, he mixed up exactly the amount that 
he had to mix, or rather exactly the amount of the capacity of the holes. He had concrete left because the posts, as he puts them into the hole, they also occupy their own space. So the concrete does not take up the whole, the whole uh, hole, but rather it takes some of the space and then the post is also going to occupy its own space. That is why the concrete does not work all of it and this arm left after he has planted the post. So I hope you guys understand it. And uh, we're gonna go to the next question. I don't think I need to write that down. And now going to the next one, which is question 3.2.3 complex one it says the concrete is made from a mixture of cement river sand and stone in the ratio as illustrated below so that is the ratio of making the mixture of cement you use one bag of cement with two wheelbarrows of river sand and two wheelbarrows of stone so they continue to tell us that um, 0.5 cu 0.75 cubic meters of concrete requires 5.5 bags of cement and then they also tell us that one level wheelbarrow full of river sand weighs 102 kilograms. And then they tell us to calculate the mass of river sand needed to make one cubic meter of concrete. So here um, they have given us the ratio to calculate, I mean the ratio to, the ratio of a mixture of cement. They have told us that um, to make 0.75 cubic meters of, of concrete, they need 5.5 bags of cement. We have been told how much one wheelbarrow of um, river sand weighs, and then they want us to calculate the mass of river sand needed to make concrete of one cubic meter. So here we're gonna start by calculating the number of bags of um, cement needed to calculate, I mean to get um, one cubic meter of concrete and we're going to use the cross multiplication method. I hope that you guys do remember this method. We've done it so many times in the previous questions. So it's question 3.2.3. We're starting with the information that we have been given. So they tell us that 0 0.75 cubic meters of concrete is made by 5.5 bags of cement, right? And we want to know that if this, if 5.5 bags of cement make 0 0.75 cubic meters, then how many bags of cement do we need to make one cubic meter of concrete? So cubic meters in cubic meters, and then um, bags on the same side. Cubic meters on the same side, bags on the same side. So here we have one cubic meter and we don't have the number of bags. That's what we're looking for. That is what we're calculating, the number of bags. So we're gonna put X here, and then we're gonna cross multiply and say 0.75 cubic meter multiplied by X equals to one cubic meter multiplied by 5.5 bags, okay? So here it's gonna be 0.75 x equals to this is going to be 5.5 okay and then we're going to do what we divide both sides by 075 075 and then we have x left in here so now we're going to divide these two and say 5.5 divided by 0 0.75 it gives us a total of 7. Point, uh, 7.123123123 So this is the amount of bags of cement that we need to make one cubic meter of concrete okay so this is the amount of bags that we need and remember that looking at the ratio that have been given to us one bag of cement equals to two wheelbarrows of river sand okay so now we're going to say this number and multiply it by two wheelbarrows. So we're gonna say, therefore, seven comma, uh, multiply by two wheelbarrows. Wheelbarrows, and that gives us a total of, so please click the number as it is on your calculator. Do not round it off, do not round it up, do not round it down, just take it as it is and click it on the calculator. So we're gonna say multiply by two, and it gives us a total of 
7, right? So now we have 14.666, what, what? Number of bags. This is still the number of bags of cement that is going to be needed to make one cubic meter of concrete. So now we know how many bags of cement we're going to need, right? This is number of bags, right? So now we're going to take the number of bags. Therefore, um, 14.6. Multiply by so we're going to take the number of bags of cement and multiply them by one uh, by the weight of one wheelbarrow, which is 102 kilograms. So we're going to take the, the 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 number of bags and multiply it by the weight of one wheelbarrow, which is 102 kilograms. Okay, so that is going to give us the total weight of. A sand river or of river sand that is needed to what to do to mix one cubic meter of concrete. So we're going to say um, answer multiplied by 102 kilograms. So it gives us 1496 kilograms and this is our final answer. This is the amount of river sand that is needed to make one cubic meter of concrete so um please guys as we're busy doing these calculations please also click on your calculator so we're sure that we all get the same units because i'm human i can also make mistakes and i hope you forgive me for that and i hope i actually don't make the mistakes but yeah this should be the final answer and otherwise it's the method that i use to do the calculations that matter not really the numbers but the sequence of the method that i use if you understand the method and you have your own calculator and you click on your calculator carefully and um, you, you verify your numbers or your answers before you write them down, then you should be good. All you need to do is just to understand the method of getting to the answer. So yeah, uh, this is our final answer and we're going to go to question 3.3.